Prince Harry makes a very strategic and bold move by choosing to host the upcoming Invictus Games in the UK. Now, this is amid major issues with staff, reputation, and money. Is Prince Harry trying to push King Charles into a reconciliation on his terms and forcing the royals to support the Invictus Games? You guys, we have a lot of juicy royal daily tea to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. Prince Harry has just announced that the 2027 Invictus Games will be returning back to the UK for the very first time in 10 years by choosing Birmingham as the new host city. The problem is the city is broke. It was declared bankrupt in September of 2023. Many residents are not happy that the UK government has pledged over 26 million pounds to the Invictus Games, not the city. City residents have seen a huge spike, upwards of 21% in taxes, while city roads are not being repaired and local libraries are closing, not to mention over 600 jobs will be lost. Now this announcement of the Invictus Games choosing Birmingham over Washington, D.C. has a lot of people wondering was there an ulterior motive for choosing this city? Now, we remember that last May, Prince Harry came back for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, and no member of the royal family came out to show support for Harry or the Invictus Games. The only people who came out was the Spencer side. Of the family. Now we know that the Invictus Games was started by Prince William, King Charles, and Prince Harry back in 2014. And around 2016, Harry took over the Invictus Games, and it's been his little baby project ever since. But coming back to the UK, is he forcing the royals to come out and show support for the games? Will the next three years be story after story after story of poor little Prince Harry being snubbed by his evil racist royal family while he's out there doing the Lord's work? So if the royals don't come out and show support in 2027, they're going to look bad and petty once again. After all, he is the king's son doing a huge charity that the UK government is paying for, kind of putting them in a rock in a hard place. Now, another story has come out that Prince Harry is threatening to go out to the UK solo for a month. He wants to heal the rift with his daddy and the rest of the royal family. This is the same man who continues to attack his family, but wants to have a reconciliation. Make it make sense. I feel like he's forcing a reconciliation with his father, but on his own terms. It's like he's taken a page out of Meghan Markle's masterclass, How to Destroy Your Family and Manipulate Others. Talk about a best seller. Now, Prince Harry has suffered a huge blow as his foundation's chief executive, Dominic Reed, is stepping down after a decade. Now, in my opinion, Dominic Reed is kind of the brains behind the entire charity. He helped Harry and the royals start it, and now he is leaving. Prince Harry said he was immensely grateful to his friend Reed for transforming the Paralympic-style sporting competition for wounded, injured, and sick military personnel from an ambitious idea into a global movement. Now, after announcing his decision, Mr. Reed said it's time for someone new to take this vital movement forward into its second vigorous decade. He said the search for his successor would be an important one and that he looked forward to passing the baton and continuing to support the foundation. But I do find the timing of him exiting 
very, very suspicious. Now, Mr. Reed is the person who was responsible for coming up with the very first Winter Invictus Games that are going to happen in Canada in 2025. But I believe there's a lot of problems with Invictus Vancouver. People are dropping like flies over there, guys. I think they're having a little bit of a morale problem. Now, if you remember back in October of last year, the Invictus Vancouver, they lost two key employees. They lost their CEO, Peter Lawless. They said he was, quote, transitioned out of his job. Now, he is a lawyer and arguably Canada's most respected Olympic and Paralympic administrator. He exited left abruptly. <laughs> then Bill Cooper, the chief commercial officer, also left the Vancouver Whistler team. Now, rumors of low morale, money overspending were rampant. A lot of people were questioning Harry and Meghan's spending habits with the money and that money was running out. You also have to remember that there doesn't seem to be any huge sponsors. Companies are not giving them money. Instead, they're really depending on cities to give them money. Like Canada, I believe, gave them $15 million. Now we have the UK is giving them upwards of 25 million pounds, but they don't have any corporate sponsors. And the way that Harry and Meghan are spending money with the fact that they're having reputation problems, the huge backlash from the Pat Tillman Award, it's not looking good even from the veteran community. The Invictus Games, in my opinion, is in big trouble. Now, I do believe that Mr. Reed is kind of jumping ship. He's looking for his life raft off the Titanic. He probably sees what's happening with the Winter Games that it's going to be a big, big problem. Now, during Harry's acceptance speech during the Pat Tillman Award, he was trying to make it more about the Invictus Games, less about himself. However, he never mentioned Mr. Reed in his speech. Could Mr. Reed finally just be tired of working behind Harry and Meghan? Because again, Harry and Meghan have become the face of the Invictus Games, and now there is so much negativity attached to them. I believe he's exiting due to that reason. Again, I find it very weird. He is exiting six months before the very first winter games. I believe the Invictus Games guys is in a lot of trouble. Do you believe that Harry's trying to mass manipulate the royal family into a reconciliation and also into supporting his fledgling Invictus Games? Leave me your comments guys down below as always. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.